Um, so that's a tins. Here's the foils. Here's the image pack. The image pack is made small, so it's all of my beautiful images, but they fit the bezels perfectly. Hi, Abby. So um, this really fits well. This is the, the foils in my line that I picked. Like, we're gonna need these colors here, you know? And um, the bezels, these are, I have a line of bezels that Justin and I and, and the team over here, we worked very hard putting together. One thing I do wanna say that if you guys are looking for exceptional metal in in your lines come to me because I know metals it's like out of anything um, I did a I did a commercial line for the um, craft industry and the jewelry department and it was hugely successful because I know my metals um, I, I hand make all of the originals and then we have them made we actually once there's resin in here um, it doesn't look any different than my sterling silver vessels and my bronze vessels so really, there's no seams in here. There's no, it's a really the perfect height for pouring resin into. So I was excited when we did it. I was like, oh my God, we did it, you know? So I was really excited about the bezels. So the line of bezels is on the front. If you guys, you know, are back in and looking around, there's a line of bezels that we're starting with. Um, and the image packs that kind of fit right into here. And for us in jewelry, a bezel is our canvas. So you have to have a substrate, correct? So we, when you're in mixed media, you have other substrates. This is our substrate that we work on and right. build from there. And found, you know, for found objects or anything. Um, another part of the line that I actually developed a couple of years ago, um, and my editor, she, she was like, I have the perfect name for you. You have to call it iced enamels. It's actually a cold enameling line. and. Um, I, when I have people, I had a group for, for five days and we did hot, the regular glass enameling and we did iced enamels side by side. And really you could not tell the difference at the end of this workshop. I love having people for long periods of time to educate that way. And um, this is, Jen has the piece on now. It's resin. It's a lock, oh, but it's all resin. So the entire piece, it's super light, it's easy to wear. Okay, and yeah, everybody looks yeah. at it and thinks I'm wearing a real lock. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Cool. But that was my job, was to make it look like a real lock, but it's super light. Yeah, so it's just, you know, and I teach a class called um, Resin Relics and Ancient Artifacts, where we're just getting in and we're kind of graffito and dirty things up and hammering nails in and really making some really interesting pieces like that. So we're just taking, you know, we, we also found that people really are getting ready in resin to move on to their own pieces, casting. So these are just some cast pieces. You know, for us, you don't even have to worry about it. Be careful, they're gonna be okay. And then this is the pewter um, iced enamel that we have on here. This is the whole row. I, I think we did these up so carefully that we, that they're, they're really hard to get up. But if you get a chance, that's, the whole, all of our colors with the iced enamels. When you put ice resin over them, they look just like glass enameling. So, you know, it's just with a little a, a heater of like 300, 300 degrees. It's waxes and resins and, and layers. So for mixed media, the paper is huge to be able to do that and then the castings. Those are great ways to use those on journals and, and everything, you know, to, to be able to do. So to cast a piece like that, this is um, our putties. So this is with, with uh, you know, this was an addition. I really, really love this mix. You, it really picks up very, very fine detail. I don't have my mold sticking. I don't have my resin sticking. Um, I don't have any of this putty left, which I, I did have trouble with some of that in the past. So, it, you know, it's nice. You can get about a good three pieces out of this, maybe two if you're doing something that big. And um, <clears throat> I'm just, it's a non-toxic, um, Two it's parts two parts silicone. It dries like in five, 10 minutes. So this is a quick one. And um, I'm just gonna, you don't have to be exact with this where you do with the resin. So I'm just gonna take my two parts. What do I have to mold? I'll do the, I'll do the heart again. We'll do the heart again and move on. Okay. okay. Then I'll be able to pour into it. So I just wanna take this and I take it in my hands and I mix it up very, very quickly. Kind of knead this around and um, when I'm in a workshop, you know, I always tell people to be very attentive. When I'm in a workshop, I'll see people walking around and chit-chatting and then they have like a hard ball in their hand. So I'm like, focus, move quickly, you know? It, this has to be done. The longer, you know, I want this super soft and then I'm just gonna press my piece into here and I always build it as high as I possibly can. I do because sometimes I wanna do um, a really tall pour and sometimes I want shallow. 
I can use this mold over and over and over again. 20 times, 30 times. Um, I can use these over. So with these molds, oh, where is, I want to show you guys one of the leaves. Oh, here. I want to show you guys one of the leaves. You know, for me, this is a cast piece. I actually cast a leaf, and it has the foils in between, and I just darken the edges, and that's the resin paper on top. You know, so with pieces like these and these, does that have the cast? Oh, this has the resin paper. You know, so I'm really kind of bringing jewelry and mixed media together and really, um, and this one again too, this piece I do, I write my own personal notes on here, talisman on there, they're hidden away, but I bind it together as a talisman. I have my own words in here and when I wear it, you know, it's, it's, it's my stuff. <laughs> so that's kind of what I really like to do in purpose. And, um, okay, so I actually have this in here since I walked away. It's not quite ready yet, but I do have one you know that I can that I already did um, that I can pop out I actually so now I'm ready to pour my resin into I'll, I'll show you guys mixing in a minute but so this is just with oops this one I didn't do too good not my best work up here when I'm demoing but I think you guys get the good idea this is dry it's a six hour dry all the bubbles work their way out um, you know I can just leave it as it lays it's done you know and I can leave it as it lays, and then this one is ready to pop out. So that piece here, this is, you know, I kind of wanted to show um, with mine, what I did is I actually, to give it really, because I was creating glass, I just did a coat of clear resin over it. You know, you don't have to. So, you know, I really try to make the education <laughs> simple and have a nice piece, but you can really go beyond these steps to really create, you know, something different than that too.